As we mentioned before, Metric Beat allows you to very effortlessly to read, process, and ship data to different destinations. Although it can be simple to understand the steps of reading the data from the sources and shipping them into destinations, perhaps you might not have comprehended exactly what the processing part means. Metric Beat, before transmitting the data to the configured outputs, performs some internal processing to make sure that the output is going to be compatible into a format that it is acceptable by any configured outputs. Overall, this format is dictated by something called ECS, which is the acronym for Elastic Common Schema. The whole idea is for this processing layer to make sure that the metric conforms to the layout specification that is indicated in the ECS schema. However, there will be some times where you're going to be actually willing to perform some extra processing. Perhaps the data format that you are capturing from the sources is not into a common format that some of the built-in modules are able to process and comprehend. Or maybe they are into a common format, but you want to reduce some of the noise and remove unnecessary fields or even remove events that you are not interested to actually transmit to the outputs. For this reason, you have strategies that you can use with metric beat to perform some extra processing. There are three strategies that you can use with metric beat. The first one is using the built-in processors. The second one is using a feature from Elasticsearch called Ingest Pipeline. Lastly, you can use Logstash, which is a proven and common technology from Elasticstack that allows you to implement some processing pipeline that precedes the step of transmitting the data to backends. Let's discuss each one of them right now. Processors are, as I mentioned before, built-in implementations that comes out of the box with beats. They allow users to add them into the a form of a pipeline that is going to be responsible for mutate these events into the format that you want to achieve. There are different types of processors available. There are processors that allows you to drop events, add new events, and sometimes there are processors that allows you to implement some conditional logic. Processors are a great way to actually implement all this logic in the edge, which means that all the data mutation is going to occur where the data has been captured. And therefore, you are not going to send unnecessary data through the network to any of the outputs. The drawback of using processors is that you are not going to actually put this processing logic into a central location. You have to actually configure in a per deployment basis, which can be a little troublesome if you have hundreds of beats deployed in multiple locations. A way to actually overcome this limitation is leveraging an ingest pipeline. An ingest pipeline is a feature from Elasticsearch that allows documents to be processed before indexing. In Elasticsearch, you can define a pipeline that is comprised of one or multiple processors that are chained and just like the idea from the processors and metric beat, they're going to, each one of those processors mutate the event until the very last processor generates the last version of the event that will be consequentially indexed into Elasticsearch. Once you define this 
in Jazz Pipeline in Elasticsearch, you can simply mention this in the output configuration in Metric Beat. Like we mentioned before, the advantage of using a Jazz Pipeline is that now you are defining your processing logic into a central location. And therefore, you no longer have to manage this in every single bit deployment that you might have. The drawback of using an Jazz Pipeline is that now you are going to transmit all the data from the edge, in other words, where the metric bit is being executed across the network and the actual processing, or let's say post-processing, will occur on Elasticsearch. That means that the traffic will probably increase, sometimes unnecessarily. A way to overcome this limitation is to use the third option, which is using Logstash. Logstash is a proving pipeline processing technology that can sit in between your metric bit deployment and Elasticsearch, and it is going to take care of this post-processing. The advantage of using Logstash other than using a proving technology is that you are no longer going to offload only metric bit and put this processing logic into a central location, but now you are offloading Elasticsearch. So now you can grow your architecture of processing in a central location, which is going to be Logstash. Just like the other options, using Logstash has drawbacks too. The drawback is that now you are introducing a new layer into your processing architecture, a layer that you have to maintain and evolve. If you are comfortable with this, that's okay. One of the coolest things about these three approaches is that you don't necessarily have to pick one of them. You can mix and match and, for example, use some of the processors in metric beat to remove fields and perhaps add new ones and leave some more complex logic to either Logstash or Elasticsearch using ingest pipelines. Let's see in a sequence an example of each one of those approaches so you can better decide which one are going to be used in your deployment.